Who are you voting for, Steve? I'm voting for Obama. Why? Oh, so many reasons. <laughs> what about the other guy? Uh, I'm not voting for him. Lee, who are you voting for? I'm also voting for Obama. What about the other guy? I hate him. What, you hate? I That's, do. I find him to be really scary. I mean, at the time that they were starting the debates, he seemed like the best of the Republicans, but now that he's the only one left, he's pretty scary. And uh, I think it is a really important election. You know, we've had eight years of absolute, uh, utter uh, travesty that's torn the country apart. And, uh, you know, hopefully things will change. If Obama uh, does not win this election and McCain wins this election, um, how do you think, what do you think the uh, situation will be in the United States in the next couple of years? Um, well, especially if McCain hews to Bush's policies as he seems likely to, I think it's just going to get worse and worse. I mean, I don't, I don't really agree with too much of uh, what he's outlined as his policies. And um, quite frankly, I'm ready to consider moving to another country. Where would that be? I don't know. Maybe somewhere in Europe or Canada, where the rest of my family is from. Where, who are you voting for, Kim? I'm voting for um, O. Obama. For sure. You're voting for the O? Yeah. What do you think of uh, um, what do you think the the uh, psychology of the country will be if Obama loses? Um, I think it'll be psychotic, <laughs> <laughs> even more psychotic than than uh, than the Bush years. Do you think there's a real division in the country now between people who sort of support the uh, the Bush doctrine and sort of the sort of somewhat unknown Obama factor? I think it's um, a really hard time for uh, Republicans because they really, 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 really don't want to vote for a Democrat, but it seems like the most logical point of view also for, you know, the, the more centrist or um, conservatives because, um, one, number one, the Palin, Palin factor who who seems just to be a magnet for, you know, the right-wing wackos. And um, and also, it just seems like uh, McCain is kind of um, he's sort of lost right now. You know, he doesn't he doesn't know anything about economics and and um, that you know just the way he's shown himself to be, it's not very confident. Building, he's scary. He's he's scary because he's erratic and he's uh, he's a maverick. You know, which kind of means he's he's liable to do anything. I mean, you know, Steve, you come from the Midwest. Do you, is your is your family uh, agree with you on your politics? Um, I think that most the people I know back there are voting for Obama, but I actually do get really surprised when I hear about that there is support for the right wing side of things back in Michigan, and and um, I'm surprised that it's you know from people that I actually know that you know are not voting for Obama. That's that's what's. Is it because they're racist? Um, I think it's. I think it's partially due to that, and um, and um, it's it's funny because there was a lot of sexism going on when um, when Hillary was running, but but now I don't don't know about any of that with Palin running. You know, it's a sort of a reverse sexism. I feel like people are attracted to the Republican side of things just because um, she's somewhat attractive. Well, she's charismatic in ways that he's not. I mean, she's more the factor in why people are excited about the Republican ticket than he is. And she's exciting. You know, I'm, ex I'm any, excited any by her, but I'm horrified any by Any lunatic her. can be charismatic. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's I mean, right. Courtney Love is charismatic. <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> what about you? What do you feel that Obama... I assume you're for Obama, are you not? I am. I, I keep thinking that there is actually a, a very sort of uh, a question of race in this whole race. And it's one that people are try to, uh, af sort of afraid to talk about, even though they kind of do talk about it. Um, but I really do foresee a scenario of, of um, McCain and the Republicans getting the, uh, winning the election in, in any which way they can. And if that happens, I sort of see like a, a really um, kind of, very strong uh, psychological warfare that will happen in the country. You know, I think uh, Obama represents 
um, the the liberal mindset. I think he he under, he represents the um, desire for equality between gender and race in the country. And if he, as a representative of that, uh, if if he loses, I see. I'll see uh, it seems to me like whatever rift there is psychologically in this country um, between uh, the self righteous and the, the the liberals uh will be even more intense and create like much more of a sort of a civil unrest um than we've ever experienced before and so that's sort of what i kind of fear is that that situation more than anything more than like you know thinking about like sort of the economic stability of the country uh, our relationship with the rest of the world politically and I mean, all that stuff is something that any president's going to have to sort of work out. I mean, I guess a president's main uh, uh, work is is delegation. I mean, is delegating is like is is right. is getting the right people to work for the country. Um, and I would sort of trust that if McCain wins, that he will be very sort of sensible in that. But, but he's already sort of disproven that he's actually that capable of doing that in any good steed by um electing this this uh this governor of alaska who is kind of um she's she is kind of this uh you know wet dream for uh, right wing um lunatics and that's that's it we're done sonic youth is done <laughs> we're back and we're talking about mavericks <laughs> Maybe my first like TV sort of idol crush was uh, James Garner and Maverick, <laughs> and so I don't know. My image of Maverick is really different than that of John McCain or Sarah Palin. <laughs> yeah. Would you vote for James Garner if he was running? Um, only if he was a cross dresser. We used to have a kitten named Maverick that Steve actually served. Uh, renamed and what did you call her? Vixen. Oh, didn't we have a cat named Maverick? No. You're in your dream. <laughs> in another world, dude. <laughs> okay, this is. <laughs> <laughs>